Covert narcissists are pathetic. Hello everyone. Welcome to another Narc Survivor YouTube video. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. It will help the YouTube algorithm and it will get this message out there so that other survivors will see it. Covid narcissists are so brainless and stubborn that at times you may often feel sorry for them because they're desperately seeking attention and validation from you. And sometimes you may just give in because you feel bad for them. But then it inflates their ego and they suddenly start thinking they're better than you. But if they weren't such attention whores, you probably never would have even noticed them. You never would have known that they even existed. But they couldn't help but notice you. And it was very lonely for them. When they had their eye on you, but you weren't even aware of their existence. So they had to make themselves known to you by doing each and every possible subtle thing in order to catch your attention. Because otherwise they knew that you were not going to notice them. They knew that you were beyond their scope. You were out of their range. So they had to pull you into their realm through the use of inappropriate tactics and, provo and provocation or overly dramatic and undignified actions because it's very lonely for them in their world when no one would naturally acknowledge their existence where people typically overlook them because that's just how it goes for the covert narcissist people just don't notice them they're not that attractive or interesting, so they typically target people who stand out. People who attract attention naturally. And then they try to steal the spotlight away from you and position themselves as the star of the show, even when there's just nothing special or unique about them. And people just give them attention because they feel bad for them not because we actually think that they're deserving of it, but they just use that to inflate their egos, to validate this false reality that they're all powerful, that they're attractive and desirable, the best thing since sliced bread. When the reality is that you would never have even been aware of their mere existence on this earth if they had not gone out of their way to attract your attention. And even then, everything they do is fake. They put on a show, but that's not who they really are. They fabricate a character to manipulate you and bring you into their realm, to keep you under their control so that they can use you for supply because you are the real star of the show. You are the one with all of the abilities and talents. They just don't want you to know that. Because if you knew it, you would realize that there is no reason for you to keep them around. And then you would continue on your journey without them. Once you realize that they're not even bringing anything to the table, all they're doing is taking the spotlight away from you while well, you're funding the cost of their performance through your own personal means, when it's just not serving you in any way. It's not even benefiting you. And in fact, it imposes a hindrance to your life. But they don't want you to come to that conclusion because they fear rejection, humiliation and ridicule, which is why they created a false character to protect them because they don't want to be judged. But that's also why they can't be vulnerable. It's why it lacks any depth. Because the false character is all they have. So it can only ever be fake, shallow and superficial. Which means that you can never talk about anything serious. 
and the relationship can never progress in a meaningful way and you will never feel like you're on the same page because they have an inability to experience an emotional connection. They can't be intimate because for them to do that, they would need to have a true self. But all they have is the false character, which is shallow and superficial. It lacks depth. If you're finding this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up down below. But yes, you're never going to feel like you're close to them. And you're never going to develop a meaningful relationship with them. Which is pathetic. And it may arouse pity or sympathy from you. Because all they can do is prance around like their shit doesn't stink where they're full of themselves and thinking that every little thing about them is perfect as they assume an air of arrogance, condescension and superiority and believe that they are better or more refined than other people when it's just all in their heads. Because they're actually very insecure. They have low self-esteem. They're just using your attention to inflate their ego without acknowledging the fact that you never would have realized their existence if they didn't flaunt themselves in front of you as though they're the most important person in this world. And although they may act joyful and cheerful at times, it's actually just a front. It's a deceptive outward appearance and it's something they use to distract themselves from their self-loathing because they actually struggle with being positive and uplifting. Which is why they will rarely compliment you or say nice things about you or praise you on your progress and accomplishments. They will never celebrate your success. They will never raise you up. Instead, they will mock you and gossip about you. They will always find a way to downplay it to bring you down to their level so that you feel just as bad as they do because then they can feel more comfortable around you. And these are the same expectations that they set for their own children. No matter what the child does, they will be told it wasn't good enough. Even if they accomplish something beyond belief, it will be overlooked or they will be told that they could have done better yet at the same time they will view their child as an extension of themselves and they will suffocate them they will be overbearing and domineering to the point where it prevents the child from establishing their own self-identity because everything has to revolve around their narcissistic parents and narcissists are often so out of touch with reality that they won't even be embarrassed about revealing which one is their golden child and scapegoat child. They will infantilize their children. They will treat them in a way that denies their maturity in age or experience to encourage or even force them to behave like a child because they want to keep the child as their lifelong source of supply, which is pathetic because no one in the right state of mind would do that to their own child. Instead, they would give the child room to mature at their own pace. But narcissists are very immature. They're emotionally underdeveloped, which is why they often throw tantrums like a two-year-old child, because they were never disciplined correctly. So they experience a narcissistic injury if things don't go their way or if they don't get what they want, which they will then take out on you because they always have to win. Even if it's something insignificant, they have to get their way. They have to make you do what they want you to do. Otherwise, they feel like they're losing control. Because they're very insecure. They're a child in an adult body. So they need to feel comforted and soothed by something outside of themselves. They need an external regulator. 
a pacifier because they can't regulate their emotions from within which is essentially the same thing as a baby sucking its thumb and that's what you are to the narcissist which is why they will yell and scream or they will give you the silent treatment when it's not even that you've done anything wrong or that things are unfair to them it's just that everything needs to be exactly how they want it to be they can't deal with even the slightest inconveniences well we have to move mountains and achieve spectacular and apparently impossible results just so we can then be mocked and ridiculed or to have it all sabotaged and torn down because like a child they felt like we had a better toy than they did so they had to snatch it out of our hands or destroy it because they're irrational and infantile if they could be pushed around at a prom with a pacifier in their mouths well we just do everything for them they would probably just do that they don't want to work for anything they want everything to be handed to them on a plate well we end up running ourselves into the ground in an effort to please them and if we expect even a tiny morsel of gratitude or reciprocation then we're labeled as greedy or selfish even if we're just doing something for ourselves because narcissists are just so weak and inadequate that they need people to act as their life support to prop them up in case they collapse and fall apart which is why relationships with narcissists don't tend to last very long because most people will end up burnt out where they experience a total loss of energy and interest and an inability to function effectively as a result of excessive demands upon the resources and chronic stress to where they may become extremely sick and tired and experience a state of physical or mental collapse because as I've said before the reality is that narcissists are not even meant to be alive they only made it this far because of their supplies enablers and fly monkeys if you took all of these people away they wouldn't have lasted very long they would have died out a long time ago because they really are that pathetic they're a joke they're an embarrassment to the human race they are a liability to this world and to future generations and they're the sole reason why we haven't progressed as far as we should have progressed at this point in time Thank you for watching if you found this video helpful you can give it a thumbs up down below let me know your thoughts in the comment section hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications if you would like to support the channel you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor you can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website it is narcsurvivor.co.uk thank you all for watching and i will talk to you soon